What's up guys, Ashton here again from Muse Themes. Our new blinds slider has been added to our widgets library and I'm gonna give you a brief walkthrough of the features and setup. This is a slider that offers a pretty unique twist on the classic slider or slideshow widget you might be used to. As we can see from the demo here, the widget shows your images in this blinds format, which are kind of like individual slices of imagery that are shuffled in height when displayed. In the widget settings, you can control the number of blinds, the variance of height in the shuffle, the spacing or padding between the blinds, and much more. It's pretty cool. Let's switch over to Muse. And we'll jump right into our library, grab out our widget, and we'll drop it onto our page. So all you're gonna see here in Muse is this placeholder widget, but just like many other widgets, the placement of this will reflect the placement of your slider. So size the width to the size you'd like the slider to display. Don't worry about the height right now as that's a parameter inside the widget settings panel, and we'll explore that in a moment. So you're welcome to shrink or expand this. You're also welcome to set this to full width as well. Another thing to look at is your page expansion settings noted by these arrows here. Right now they're pointed inward, meaning the page and the widget won't expand beyond 960 pixels. If we set these pointed outwards, it'll allow the page and widget to expand as wide as the user's browser is no matter what. And with this kind of placement of the widget where we're not totally full width, but sitting just shy of it, this is a nice technique if you want to have the slider appear nearly full width, but not completely edge to edge, but still act responsively to the browser resizing, just like we saw in the live demo. So let's jump right into the widget settings panel. And we've got a few settings in here to take note of. First is our unique ID. As usual, just make sure this is named something unique from any other instance of the widget used on the page. You can leave this alone if this is your one and only usage of it. Slider height. This is where we control the height sizing of the entire slider. And feel free to play around with this and experiment in preview. Depending on the size and aspect ratio of your images, you may want to raise or lower this to best utilize images that might be taller or shorter than others. Probably a good idea to size all of your images the same size, any images that are gonna be used in the widget simultaneously, so everything looks consistent in the browser. I know that the images I've prepared are a little bit taller than this, so I'm gonna bump this up to 450. Our next three options are number of blinds for desktop, tablet, and mobile separately. These settings are provided that you can use one single widget on your responsive page, but that will display properly across all devices and screen sizes. The number of blinds that would look nice on a desktop would probably look way too spliced or cluttered in a narrower screen size. So generally, less is better on the smaller devices in order to maintain similar width of the actual blinds themselves. These default values of 30, 15, and 10 are a good starting point, but feel free to play around, of course. Next is margin between blinds set in pixels. So feel free to increase this if you want more empty space between each blind. Again, this could really depend on your images themselves, so definitely experiment. Gap height. This sets the maximum height difference between the lowest and highest blind displayed at once. So let's look back at our live demo really quick. We can see the variance between the blind heights, and you can pretty easily spot the tallest ones and the shortest ones. By changing your gap height, you can make this difference in height between the tallest and shortest more or less drastic. So back to Muse. Slider background color does just as it sounds. And finally here we have some timing settings. Slider animation delay in milliseconds. Use this to increase a delay before the very first slide animates after the initial page load. And time between slides of course allows you to add more or less time that each slide sits on the page before switching to the next. So that covers our styling settings. Let's now drop down our images tab. And here, of course, is where we're going to load in our imagery. We can pack up to 10 images here in the slider, which is awesome. All we have to do is use the checkboxes to enable however many images we're going to be using. I have a few prepared in my finder here, five to be exact, so let's enable two more in our list here. And starting with our first one, let's click on the file name to upload our own content. In my finder here, I've got five stock images here of what look like a music festival, so we'll load in our first one. And our next one, number three, four, and five. Nice. Let's give this baby a preview.
Our animation and imagery is looking nice. The whole slider is stretched, not entirely full width, but resting just shy of my browser width, just like we have it set. And everything's looking smooth and beautiful. So that's our blinds slider widget for Muse. It's a pretty awesome and dynamic slider to add some sophistication to any site, so have fun and enjoy. Hit us up in support if any issues arise, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.